Hey, 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 peace everyone, it's me Nasmus and you are watching Nasmus Labs. Well, today I want to show you something very interesting if you're an insider, if you're a Windows 10 insider that is. Uh, you might be wanting to know how to make your own Windows insider build ISOs. Uh, when Microsoft uh, uh, at, the, at the moment, currently, at the, recently, has been releasing new builds of Windows 10 uh, weekly actually, every week, and sometimes more than that. Um, but Microsoft doesn't always release an ISO so you'd have to go to Windows Update and download the latest build which is fine however if you have more than one machines that you are in the insider preview program for uh, you would need to download three to four gigabytes of file files uh, on all of on each of your machine which if say if you have five machines it'd be like five times four twenty gigabytes that's a lot so you might actually want to um, and have a, you prefer to have an ISO which you could download on one computer and use that ISO to update all your other computers offline to the latest build to save bandwidth if that's necessary for you. Um, but again, Microsoft doesn't provide an ISO. So how can we create our own ISOs safely? Well, the easiest way to do that is using an ESD decryptor tool. We'll get to that in a bit. The first thing you want to do is the first thing you want to do is go to the settings app in Windows 10 and click update and security. Then you this is how, this is after a new build is released. Make sure you're in the proper insider ring. You be in either in the fast ring. What you want to do is make sure you're in the proper ring. And then if there's a build available, click check for updates and it'll let you know if the build's available. And if the build is available, Windows will download the build. Wait for the download to finish. Uh, at the moment, there's no build available for me, but wait for the download to finish. And then it'll say preparing to install, just like this, preparing to install updates. Wait for this to finish as well. Let it get to 100%. Now, this is very important. Let the preparing to install get 200%. Then it'll say it's ready to restart your computer. Well, remember this. Do not restart the computer yet. It's very important that you know this. Please do not restart the computer. There's one very important step we need to do before restarting the computer. Well, and that is we need to extract the ESD file. So basically, when the in preparing to install completes, uh, Windows creates a folder called we need to uh, uh, Windows dash BT or Windows squiggly BT. So to get to that, we're going to go to open my computer and then go to local disk C and you'll see dollar sign windows squiggly line squiggly line BT if you don't see it click view and make sure hidden items is checked then you want to go to this folder and you'll see the when the new build setup for the new build is ready and uh, ready to go and you need to go to your sources folder once you do that, scroll down until you find install.esd. Should be with I, T E F G H I. You can see install.esd. It's usually a really large file. Here it's um, uh, almost 3 gigabytes. It's a USD file. You don't cut it, just right click here and copy it. Again, do not cut it. It will cause your update to fail. Just copy it. And in your downloads folder or any other folder, you'll sit paste it copy it now once you have that ESD file copied go to your downloads folder or whatever or any other folder you will, you like preferably somewhere you could find that file again and right click and paste so it's going to copy the ESD file to this folder in my case it's the downloads folder so let's wait for it to copy okay so now you'll need to download another stuff another file I'll have this in the initial in the description box of the video. ESD, ESD Decryptor version 4C. It's an app, it's a it's a command line app that's really easy to use and uses Microsoft's own technology built into Windows to convert the CSD file uh, to an ISO file which you can run and upgrade to Windows. So this USD file con contains all the information necessary for the to install the new build and this ESD decryptor will use the Microsoft's uh, 
tools built into Windows 10 to uh, create a setup file, setup program that's going to use the CSD folder to create uh, ISO for you. So we're gonna make, so download this file from the video description below, and then you'd want to. It's going to be a zipped file, so you'd want to uh, unzip it. So let's extract all. We have extracted the folder. Now what you're going to do is cut this ESD file, cut this ESD file, and go to the folder with the extracted stuff. Go go to the folder where it said it, that says ESD decryptor version four C, and you'll see two items: DISM and decrypt and yeah, uh, Windows command file. So you're going to right click here and paste in the ESD file that we cut here. So install.esd is here. Now, what you need to do is right click the decrypt file after you paste this and click run as administrator. Click yes, when prompted, and then you have this file right here for you to use. So you'll see an option, you'll see a screen that's like this blue. If it's a black screen saying that you need admin privileges, make sure to right click and run as administrator. If you see an error, make sure you have copied the ESD, uh, move the ESD file to the, the correct folder. So it says ESD decryption script. Um, there's four options. We're going to choose prompt option four, create a full ISO with install.wim, install.wim. So you're gonna click four and it's saying backing up original ESD file and it's going to run through some scripts and use Microsoft's own tools, so it's completely safe, Microsoft's own tools built into Windows 10 to create a setup file for us. So as you can see, it's creating a backup of the ESD file, so if something goes wrong, we're not gonna lose the actual um, file. So if something does go wrong, all you need to do is delete this ESD file and then rename this back backup file and delete the .bac. And we're good to go. And now it's create. Now it created a folder called ISO folder. It's going to create all the files necessary in this folder. At the end, convert this to an ISO image. You could the all, another benefit of doing this is that this also allows you to clean install a build as well. So it's now it's deploying win, image servicing management tool. That's what de, deployment image servicing management tool. Um, this is what DI, DISM stands for: deployment image servicing and management tool. Uh, version 10, 14.095, that's the build I'm on, applying image, now ex exporting ESD, and now it's going to export the boot.wim file, and then it's going to export the e install.esd file we copied, and it's going to create us a ISO image. All right, when this is done, I'll be back, inshallah. It finished exporting the boot.wim file. Now it's exporting install.wim or insta exporting the install.esd file. So we're on our way. If once this gets to 100%, this is the one that takes the longest. But once this gets to 100%, it's going to be done. So just hold on. All right, guys, uh, it's completed the installation or the creation of the ISO file has been completed. So now it says press any key to exit, done. So it says storage optimization, save 52 files, this many bytes, 1% of image. After optimization, image file is this many bytes, space saved because of embedding, spare, uh, sparseness and optimization, um, this many bytes, done. Press any key to exit. So now it's going to get rid of the backed up ESD file. We have the, it gets rid of the ISO folder because the process is done and you have this ISO. This is the ISO that you could use to update a machine. So I'm gonna put in a folder so you could recognize it later. I'm gonna type this in, this is Windows 10. Build 14915, uh, that's the build that I downloaded. From Windows Update, um, I'll type in a oh, RS2 IP. RS2 stands for Redstone 2. IP stands for Insider Preview. That's how I label it. You could name it any way, any way you want, as long as you could remember what the ASO is. You could even re rename the ASO file as well. So now I have this completed. I'll cut this out and move this to my downloads folder. You could put it anywhere you want. You want to get it out of the CSD folder because 
you want this to be um, you also you can also delete this as ESD file and now you're good you have the Windows 10 build downloaded so now you can to update to your other PCs um, to update your other PCs to this insider build without having to download all this all you have to do is c copy this ISO file to the PC or yeah, move this ISO file to the PC one update just double click the ISO file um, if it opens with another program make sure to open a Windows Explorer and you'll see setup.exe just run setup and you should update let's do that you should update to you should be able to see the setup for the latest build of Windows you'll see the Windows thing right here as you can see and then you'll see a preparing 29 30 percent 66 93 100 and then you could uh, you could choose to download latest updates not right now you could follow the procedures and you could update to the latest version of Windows so if we click next checking your PC uh, we're getting a few things ready and you could accept the license agreement and update to the latest version we're going to go close this setup is cleaning up before it closes so there you go Windows 10 this is the insider preview ISO and once you're done updating you could unmount this ISO or if you choose not to update you could unmount this ISO or eject and you're done um, there you go Windows 10 making insider preview ISOs really easily so let me know what you guys think uh, if you have any questions or comments leave them down below make sure to like and subscribe I really appreciate it Every like and every subscribe means a lot to me. Thank you.